Hello YouTube and welcome to my new and improved channel. I'm CD Roms and I'm here to play some more new Ghostbusters 2 uh, for the NES. Uh, we left off on the subway. Um, I'm all ready to go. I have my Ghostbusters shirt on, which you always need with Slimer flipping the bird. Always a necessity. Um, <clears throat> and uh, please excuse the ghettoness of uh, the channel right now. It's a, still a work in progress, but uh, special thanks to the dead for helping me to get this channel up and running and basically doing most of the heavy lifting for me. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, let me fix my controller. There we go. Alright, let's see here. Well, we have a lot of train tracks here. I've already busted a few ghosts and uh, I only went one screen up, so I'm not, I don't feel like reloading my save game. Oh, we got, oh, we got ghost mine workers, apparently. I think they're ghost dwarves, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Hi-ho. Oop, now I gotta pay royalties. <coughs> Dick old trap. Ah, Alright, I'm oh, sorry, I'm just goofing around now. I've had way too much caffeine today. Alright, so bust these guys. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but the tracks kind of play with my eyeballs after just a minute, the way this is set up. It's all neutral colors, browns and greens, and it just kind of starts making me want to go bleh a little bit. But it's the sewer, so it kind of makes sense. And you got to watch out for these carts, because these carts will mess you up if you're not careful, and they will turn on a dime. You know, it's just, I don't know if it's just me, but the, uh, the ones with the pickaxes kind of look like uh, Orko in a raincoat. Maybe that's just me. If you look real close, it kind of looks like that. Okay, now we got jackhammer and ghosts. I don't remember that from the movie, but it's pretty close. Dude, there was a jackhammer and outfits like that in the movie. So that does make some sense, I guess. I'll give him that. Can't really complain too bad. Now, I have been playing this a little bit uh, for practice because I was just ashamed that the internet saw how horrible I was at this game before. So I have been practicing a little bit, but still not much. And a lot of times these ones and carts just gotta let them kill themselves a couple of times, run into the wall, and you still don't have you don't have to bust them. You just have to get these guys. See, go up, man. This time I remember which way was up. I'm doing well. Video two is going swimmingly. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, and they like to fool you. Uh, sometimes if you go up one side, it's actually the other side you need to go to, and this one side is blank. You're just like repeating the screen like Pac-Man. And it's a little upsetting. It took me a lot longer than I'm willing to admit to figure that out. So let's just do 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 do. Okay. And if you'll notice, there's no sound. Um, I didn't want to have to pay any kind of uh, <laughs> royalties to uh, any of the 80s artists from the soundtrack, so uh, I'm still trying to figure out the best setup for this, so just bear with me. It's a transitional period, but uh, I'm already getting a pretty good bit of uh, so positive reinforcement, so I enjoy it, and I'm, I appreciate it very much. Okay, so let's see here. I'm so full. Raise a glutton. Oh, okay. Come on, Ray, let's go. My face is covering it up. Okay. Oh. Looks like I caught him and died at the same time. That was pretty, t pretty talented of me, I guess. They got a sledgehammer. <laughs> it's like one of the most overused weapons in video games. And also Batman comics. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Up and at them. Okay. Assuming it's... Yep. See, there's a ghost running around down this side. With like... Fi oh. <sighs> with like 50 carts, apparently. This is like the, chef, like the cart guy at Walmart. Oh, really? You gotta be kidding me. Game. Ugh, it's like I do this once a video. Okay. Fine. Oh, man, all the way back here. Son of a gun. 
And if I, uh, if you can see me physically sweating, I do apologize. It's a cool surface of the sun in the room that I'm in right now. Come on, you going? You get hung up on the corners so freaking easy. This game. At some point, the nostalgia factor <laughs> is no longer an issue and there's only frustration. Egon needs to take his friggin' pill today or something. He is just... this is the worst I've ever seen the AI in this game. Come on. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Well, it was. Got a little overzealous there. Come on. Alright. And the more you play this game, the more god-awful long these levels seem to get. It's still an enjoyable experience, despite me seeming very angry about it. <laughs> Come on. There we go. That guy just looks like he's sitting there having way too much fun by himself. Alright, almost to the boss here. Going on the train car. Hope, I've, hope, hope I don't get thrown off. No ticket. <laughs> Reminds me of the face from that Sega Saturn game with the plane. Spacing on what it was called. If you can remember, let me know in the comments below. I believe that skull has a mohawk. Which is... Alright, that's fair. That's fair. Luckily the boss on this level is extremely easy. But frustrating is all hell, because I'm not sure exactly. You just kind of keep keep hitting the zap one time, and then the trap one time, and keep doing it until he goes into the trap. It's like Slimer's blocking it or something, but... Alright. Oh, oh, it's spooky. What about the packs? Alright, round clear. Yeah. Rock on. Well, uh, that was the subway, and I managed to do that without dying too many times. The next level, I believe, is the uh, apartment building. Um, so I'm going to be cutting it off here for this week's installment. Uh, the videos will be getting better as they come along, I promise. We're really working hard on this. Uh, this week was a bit of a rush job, and I hope that I was still entertaining. Please, any comments, suggestions, brood remarks, or concerns that you have, uh, please put them in the comments below. And uh, we're absolutely open to any kind of suggestion. I'd like again to thank my comrade, partner in crime, The Dead, for helping me out with this. And until uh, next week, this is CD Roms signing you off.